Using Google Sheets within Blackboard for attendance. Blackboard Learn offers many features, but as of 2016, does not offer a native attendance function for traditional face-to-face -face courses. Until Blackboard offers this option, we will simply have to make do with alternatives. For years before learning management systems, faculty took attendance and did grades with spreadsheets. Now Google offers a free version with Google Drive. In the next few minutes, we will show you how you can utilize this tool to make attendance easy and almost integrated within the course. There are three steps to accomplishing this. One, we need to get the student roster. Step two, we need to create a Google Sheet. Step three, we need to link the sheet inside a Blackboard Learn course. Let's start with getting the class roster. To save time, let's not opt to enter all the students manually into a spreadsheet. Instead, we can go to the Grade Center to get the student roster. By selecting Download from the Work Offline button, you will see a page titled Download Grades with several options. Under Data, select User Information Only since we just want the usernames for our attendance work. Then, under Options, select Comma. This works best for non-Excel spreadsheet programs like Google Sheets. Hit Submit and then Download. This will download a file and you will have your attendance roster. Step 2. Go to the Google Drive and open a new sheet. You will need a Gmail or Google account for this. Remember, this is free. Create a new sheet. Go to File and select Import. This allows you to search and upload the attendance roster you just downloaded. Now you can format the spreadsheet to meet your needs. Note, this is a cloud service and you should keep sensitive information from being in here. Do not include an ID or student social security numbers. Simply their name should suffice for your records. Also, do not share this information with others. You are almost done. Keep the sheet on a browser tab and open another browser tab to open your course. Step 3. Accessing your spreadsheet from the course. Now that you are inside your course, go to the menu while in edit mode. Select Web Link. This will request a name and a URL. Select an auspicious name like Attendance and here comes the tricky part. Click on the browser tab with Google Sheets. Go to the address bar and with your mouse select everything from and including the HTTPS all the way to the edit. Do not include the hashtag or number sign for those old school people like myself and the numbers. For some reason Blackboard doesn't handle hashtags well. Copy this selected area. Go back to the Blackboard tab and paste the URL you copied into the box. Hit Submit. For privacy issues, hide this tab from students. You now have a tab that will open your attendance sheet. Click on it and it will open up a sheet in another browser so that you can take attendance. The nice thing about this option for attendance is that it uses cloud computing and is mobile friendly. You can take attendance outside of Blackboard and if you have the free app either for Androids or Apple, you can even take attendance on your phone when teaching class. One final note, when the semester is over, you ought to save the spreadsheet as a PDF and place it in a hidden file in Blackboard. This is an excellent strategy for archive. This is a little more advanced solution to the attendance in Blackboard problem, but it offers a flexible solution.